Well, as you said, the lawyers are today petitioning for having all the restrictions on this provisional release uh, lifted. And what we're hearing now in court is the prosecutor explaining why he thinks those conditions shouldn't be lifted, that he says that Laurent Bagbo is still a flight risk, and um, referring to submissions from the Ivory Coast government who said that they're worried that there will be unrest if Bagbo returns to the Ivory Coast. So today's hearing is a, a back and forth between the lawyers who want all the restrictions lifted and him to be free to do whatever he wants, and uh, the prosecution and the victims who say, no, he needs to be here in Belgium where he's in the reach of the court, and because we're going to appeal his acquittal, you know, we need him to come to these uh, court hearings, and therefore he needs to have these conditions still imposed upon him. Yeah, I mean, just tell us a bit more about the arguments being put forward by either side. It's very, very procedural. So it's gonna. It, the question is, these lawyers are basically saying, um, you know, every person who is acquitted should have uh, should have no limits on their uh, release put, and then. Uh, there, or, uh, but the argument for the prosecution is, yes, somebody who's definitely acquitted, you know, should be in liberty and have no problems. But if you're still appealing, there is a reason, a legal reason to keep him here so that we can get him back in, in case the, the trial returns, because the ICC doesn't have its own police force. And if they need to bring somebody back to trial, so they're completely reliant on the cooperation of states and uh, suspects to come here. And Ivory Coast is basically saying in their submissions that we can't guarantee that we can bring them back because if Gbagbo, who's been the president for so long and still has a lot of political support, returns to Ivory Coast, we might not be able to arrest him because maybe there will be so much unrest or his supporters will really try to block us and then we'll have a whole host of new problems. Uh, and just briefly, when can we expect to know what, Stephanie? It's hard to say because it's not going to be this today. I think the judges will listen to all the arguments and then think over it for at least a couple of weeks, maybe a month before we actually have a final decision on what's going to happen. Okay, well, thank you.